Hey guys, how are you today? So I wanted to share with you an, a new but old idea. This is something I've done before, and I but I haven't done it in a while, and I sort of wanted to remind you all, and that is taking your rubber stamps that you've collected over the years, maybe even some back when we were all still scrapbooking, and stamp on deli paper with them. Um, I buy this at a store here called Smart and Final, which is sort of a wholesale restaurant supply place, uh, kind of place, you know, they do wholesale and, and retail. Um, you can also get it at Costco, I think. Um, anyway, I stamp on here with uh, black archival ink. You could use stays on also. I use this, I have this big jumbo pad. And then you have this um, really nice dark black image. The deli paper almost disappears when you collage with it onto your gel, uh, your journal pages. Not quite. It gives an interesting effect, which I will show you. This these stamps are from my Heart and Hand set number fifteen, and because they're deep etched red rubber, this is the set here. You get all this great detail on the stamps when you stamp them all those sketchy lines that I drew transfer when you stamp them. You get some beautiful detail. And to, uh, to be honest, look at how well that stamped. And honestly, I didn't try very hard. I'm not the best rubber stamper on the planet. So I wanted to share that with you today, kind of a reminder uh, to make your own embellishments and of course to promote my stamp set, um, which is now available for sale in my Etsy store. Here's a page I did over the weekend uh, with uh, that heart and hand stamp set and a uh, phrase sticker from one of my new word sets for 2018. I just had a play. I had some note paper that I was practicing with a new fountain pen and I accidentally got ink blobs on this journal and then I decided to just go with it and I collaged them down. I had some um, magazine pages with somebody else's artwork on it. I think it was Tracy Bautista. I'm not sure. I cut out sections of that and added it in. Um, I added some rubber stamping of some new stamps I got from Carabella um, Designs. And I um, stamped my hands onto um, the deli paper and collaged them in. And I love the way it turned out. It's so messy and cute. And yeah, so just... You know, remember to break out your stamps, use them in your art, don't be afraid to try something new. And if you would like to get one of the new 28 stamp sets, and we have Heart and Hands, number 15. We have this Icon set, number 14, which came about from my um, journaling for my, my year 2017 and my creative year uh, for 2018. This uh, wild heart set, wild flowers, and um, this jar, which came about for the same reason as the previous set, this icon set from doing work in my uh, journal for my year 2017. And this, the C set, which honestly, this set came about because of working on a sketchbook for the sketchbook pro project for the Brooklyn Art Museum. I drew this little turtle in that journal and decided he needed to be a stamp and then I just went on a tear and started drawing all these sea theme stamps. So anyway, all four stamp sets are available in my Etsy shop along with some new stencil designs. I hope you go visit it. Um, the link for all my places on the internet is in a link called Linktree uh, in the video description, L-I-N-K tree slash my name. You click on it, you're going to get a list of links to where I am, including the Etsy shop, the PayPal tip jar, the Amazon wish list, the website, uh, my Facebook groups, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything. So go ahead and click on it. Follow me wherever you need to, and uh, you'll get more updated daily uh, posts for me for what I'm working on every day than you will here on Facebook. And uh, please support the free content if, if you can here on YouTube and over on Facebook. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.